Hello and welcome to MechWarrior Online. This is my quick review of the Catapult C4. I haven't been able to put my finger on what I like about this mech the most, but I have some ideas. And what it really stems down to is the sound that the uh, LRM-10s make when they're firing. They fire, I have them set up for cycling, and they fire one, and then two, and then three, and then four. And the sound with the pause in between and then the next sound when they cycle normally, it's somehow relaxing. I can't really put my finger on it. And it's definitely different than the A1. The A1 has uh, six missile hard points on it. And this one has four missile hard points with two energy hard points. And it's just so relaxing. So what I've done with this guy here is I've changed the motor and put down a uh, smaller motor, less weighty, we'll say, motor, um, a uh, 14 ton. And this brings the speed down to 59.8, so essentially 60, which is kind of slow for a heavy mech, but not incredibly. But it seems to work really well for me. I've got two ER medium lasers on board, and then I'm running four LRM-10s with Artemis. Now, one of the things that's really special about this uh, mech is for whatever reason, nobody can really tell what weapons you have on this when they look. They might be able to see the energy points here, but it's a, a Pandora's box, literally, on either side of what this thing is. Uh, you could have um, MRM-30s. Excuse me. You could have MRM-30s on here. It could be um, uh, an SRM-6 build, which I've done and is a lot of fun. It's more fun on the A1, actually, but um, it's uh, it works really well. The only thing I don't like about this is that it has a minimum distance that is um, it's for the missiles. Which clan mechs don't really experience, but the other thing is, is clan mechs have a closer uh, minimum distance for um, doing damage. These ones, they just suddenly stop doing damage whatsoever, and I think it's someplace around 120 to 150 meters. Um, it doesn't say. Um, yeah, there's nothing. There's no direct number that tells you. I'm sure you can find it in the match. Um, but for whatever reason, I find this mech relaxing to drive. So what do we got here? So firepower is 50. Speed is 59.8. And uh, heat management is 1.35, which is more than ample. And when you go to the quirks on this guy, oh, it's going to do that thing. I hate that thing. It's going to stay there the rest of the game. Watch this. Um, now it's gone. So it's back again. I think you actually have to go into the match to make it go away. I hate that. Oh, it's gone now. Yay! Anyway. So, energy cooldown, minus 20%. Missile heat generation, minus 10%. Range, plus 10%. Missile cooldown, minus 20%. Missile velocity, plus 10%. Laser duration, minus 10%. Then you got your usual refinements. This, the left arm and the right arm have way better uh, armor on them than the rest of the mech does. Um, even the center torso is not really that great. Plus 8, whoop de doo Sensor range, plus 100%. So... This makes this thing really, really fun to drive. So range on this is 1,125. And I think I have this thing scaled out fully for range as well. Yeah, I do. So that with that, it makes it 1,125. Heat management, it's pretty what it is. Velocity, I didn't do anything for the lasers because I actually enjoy the lasers the way they are. And I needed to... Uh, put this into reinforced casing 
And as you can see, I've done the missiles and armor hardening and uh, skeletal density. Absolutely a must. Now this is an uh, LRM build, so I am using target decay. And I have to tell you, the beautiful thing about Interspermax and their target decay, first of all, when their missiles go up in the air, they go up way higher than clan mechs do. And then they come down at a much steeper angle uh, on a target. It's really kind of wonderful. Um, clan mechs don't do that. The downside that clan mechs do have that these ones don't is that their weapons weigh significantly less, half as much to be precise. So as an example, this weighs uh, six tons, and I think it's uh, four and a half tons for the uh, clan equivalent, or three and a half tons. So this is significantly heavier. But this is really is a lot of fun to drive, and uh, if, as long as you remember to put the case armor on there, if you have if you lose a component, uh, you're still in the match. I had a match yesterday where I lost this arm and that arm, and <laughs> I had sparks coming out of the both sides while I was driving. It looked like I was having miniature ammo explosions. I wasn't, but um, all I was down to was one laser, and I finished the match out, and I still had 718 damage with two killing blows, and one of those kills I made with the remaining laser. So I didn't get a KMDD with it, but... I was still uh, vital and in the match. And I really wish I knew why this thing has a little solar panel on it. It seems to have this other little panel here that looks like it also might be a solar panel. I don't know what that is. It'd be cool if you could have like a little SRM2 up there. That'd be dope. But, you know, it's what it is. Anyway, hope you like this and hope you see you in the matches.